You know what octet rule is? I'm sure you at least know that every one loves stability and elements are no different. Look at the electronic configuration of sodium. You see that? Now, when atoms of elements combine with each other, they try to attain the nearest noble gas configuration. Why? Because noble gases are very stable. So in the process of combination, elements try to attain the configuration of a noble gas. Now in this case, as you can see, if sodium has to attain the nearest noble gas configuration, and which one is that? Yes, that is neon. All sodium has to do is lose one electron. So sodium always combines with other atoms by losing one electron. It's all done for stability. Let us now discuss the limitations of octet rule. The first limitation is that it states that the elements of groups 1, 2 and 13 should not form covalent bonds as they have less than 4 electrons in their valence shells. Now look at these structures. All of these are covalent compounds. Here the lithium atom has only 2 electrons. Beryllium has 4 and as you can see boron has only 6 electrons. Therefore the octets of the central atoms are incomplete. Let us now discuss the second limitation. There is a violation in case of molecules like PF5, SF6 and IF7. In all these molecules, the central atom has more than 8 electrons in their valence shells. Can you see that? Phosphorus has 10 electrons, sulfur has 12 and iodine has 14 electrons around it.